yeah, well, I'm glad I've shown you a few tricks. No, I'm just, I'm just so happy. It's a bit grey, and it's a bit, it's a bit wet. And we didn't really have much rain overnight. Right, another day with a sand, well, we've got quite a few check-ins coming on this afternoon, and we're pretty full, um, which is quite good. Let's see what today's gonna bring. So we're rushing out for a walk. Um, yeah. Let's have a look what's out on the field today, shall we? You do you get some very, very exotic animals out on the fields here. Let's have a look. Just checking pictures, how we're drying out. Um, do need to put some rope dividers on two pitches. Oh, there's a stoat. Pretty hell. Uh, right, I don't, know, I don't know whether we've actually caught that on camera or not, but um, yeah, brown stoat. Right, caught on camera slightly. Um, yeah, so I don't know whether we're, um, I'm going to, oh, God, grief, getting totally distracted then, huge. Unbelievable. So very, very, very gusty at the moment. That's looking over the um, fields from the touring area. What, 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 what have you seen? I saw a stoat. Um, I saw a stoat. Well, I saw a stoat. I've actually caught, got it. It should just be a glimpse, so I've actually got it on camera. Yeah, but I saw a stoat. You didn't know anything about the stoat. I sent you a message. Oh, I'm going to come over and I'm going to put a trail cam down. So he comes running over. I've gone to get my trail cam and he's just seen it on the way over here and caught it on camera. Yeah, but yeah, Dan, I've got the stoat food in my pocket here. Yeah. Stoat food? Stoke, stoke food. I'm not too sure whether, to, to be fair, to, to be, I've been serious. That, that, that it was a, it was big because I've actually seen it. I've done. It's a stoat. You sure? Not a tiger, leopard, elephant, bald eagle. No, they're over on that pitch there. That one there. Yeah, that one there. Yeah, right. I'm gonna have a. Full of wildlife over I'm there. Gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, hang on a minute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a look at this pitch. Just putting some uh, some of these pitch dividers back in. Um, says it's not next week. A weekend after next is uh, Easter, um, so we have got well, literally 100% um, full. Every every single pitch is now booked. So uh, just making sure things are in good order um, and reinstating some pitches that have been taken out over winter. Basically, that's another ginormous pitch. Pitch number 29. We are going to move. Uh, a grass pitch over to the centre, what we call the centre island, and I've got um, a hard standing service pitch down the middle run here um, for the bank holiday weekend. So, yeah, we've got a, a, a couple of changes to where the pitches are this year. But it's cheered up a little bit, windy, but uh, yeah, a little bit of blue sky again. Look at that, that's marvellous, isn't it? Site's so really quiet, a lot of people have gone out for the day, which I don't blame them. So um, we clean these toilets between 11 and 12. Uh, so if you're on site, uh, we tend to just clean a toilet, a shower, one at a time. So if you do desperately need to go, please do. But obviously we need the toilets and showers ideally empty um, between 11 and 12 so we can get a proper clean on them. You just bear in mind now that when we are busy, we've now got a two hour window. So everybody should be off this site by 11. 
and nobody should be here till one and we've now got two hours to do everything think about that so that's uh, that's the toilet cleaning hedge cutting grass cutting litter picking checking the bookings cleaning the cabin cleaning this cleaning that fixing it i've got two hours so that's why we need everybody off site by 11 and don't arrive before one uh, certainly certainly not without us knowing so i've just been giving mark a bit of an induction on um, what we're doing so um when we get going mark will do this twice a twice a week uh i'll do the rest of the time and away we go so i've still got drying being done and some washing being done from the cottage turnover yesterday um yeah which is always a, a, a bit bit manic because all three bedrooms in the cottage have been used so that'll be done in the next couple of hours we get everything all folded up put away and then that's all ready to go for the cottage turnover on monday morning and the pod has been in use for the last couple of days so we've got another load of washing in the washing machine for the pod so yeah the glamorous side of being a campsite warden hey the glamorous side but yeah we've got a uh, there's only a couple of hard standing pitches that are going to be free tonight it's um surprising how busy uh, all these bookings have come in literally in the last few days okay next job just go and check everything is all sorted out for today's check-ins so uh, mark's i'm going to now be getting his uh, his wares on sale so do you remember we were looking at uh, items what people can buy essential items um so we're going to have that all being well this will be stocked up today um so he's got yeah he's got quite a bit here he's got uh, disposable lighters single batteries single batteries aa triple a's um and things and oops it's, i didn't realize i didn't realize you were here i didn't realize mark has got his doggy with him uh and we also just quickly give the information room just a quick quick to change over and make sure everything's neat it's very hard to keep these straight if i'm honest uh okay back into the office oh and a great big thank you uh on behalf of sandra and myself for all the um anniversaries uh, best wishes everybody sent um when we celebrated our wedding anniversary i i'm going to tell you a story in a bit um about our 10th wedding anniversary so that must be 2017 and what happened when i took sandra out for a meal and this story just hang on for it it is absolutely it seriously is un, un, unbelievable what happened to me oh peter webster peter you yeah hello peter how you doing you all right peter thanks for the super thanks um yeah much appreciated thank you for that right the drive bell for the husqvarna has arrived so, CTH 150XP. So, this should be definitely the right one. So what I'm going to do now, I have no idea when he's going to be able to come, I'm going to give this um, guy a ring who came the other day, uh, who's offered to come and help me fit that. And then I've still got a bit of a head scratcher. From my last vlog, I said I'd sorted the belt out on this... Um, and this steger here which obviously it's all fitting now but i've got a spring tensioner and it's not liking it um down underneath here so the belt the minute goes around here and then this spring tensioner comes forward and there's something either me being a bit daft there's something not apparently right on that and i'm not going to um i'm not going to knacker it and strain it and i've got a other bar here <laughs> which again is to do with one of the uh, the drive pulleys to the back wheels. I'm not too sure where that goes neither. Anyway, let me go and give this guy a ring because uh, he's proper old school and see if, uh, see if he can come along and give some advice on things. That's the damp grass in it, so I'll scrape that off with a screwdriver. You've got a ton of yeah, extra yeah. white there. Brilliant, right. Well, I'll get myself wet and take care of that. You get yourself in and keep yourself dry. So this is the gentleman um, who's been helping me with the mower. Um, I keep calling it the orange one, the Husqvarna. So we've just taken the deck off. Uh, Quickly detachable. Yeah, and look at that. Just remove the, these pins and take it off. 
Well, so again, some people have been going on about why the belt, why that problem with the belt, and obviously with all this damp weather and stones flying up and everything, it's uh, yeah, that's what's been going on. I'm going to get a woolly hat to keep my head dry. So we just went from sunshine to oh my golly, look at this! Torrential rain. By me, Charlie. Would you believe that? So that one's got a spring on it. Oh yeah, yeah. That one's tensing the belt. So all you've got, all we, the biggest problem is getting the belt over this front pulley. Pulley, right? Because obviously that's close. Uh, and then you've got to go past the electrical connection, which is this one here. So we've got to undo that, and then maybe undo one or two guards, and then the belt should go on, and then you work oh, backwards. Me. Oh, okay. Genius. Definite genius. Which is controlled by the brake pedal. Now we've just got to thread the belt out, but you've got to get past all the guides. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to undo, you undo it, and then it becomes. Easier. No way. So. I wouldn't have done this on my own. I definitely wouldn't have done this on my own. No chance. You're going to slacken them off and then that'll move and then you can put the new yeah, back. Ah, okay, right. Yeah, so this steger has got a... I'll show you later on that one. Something like this on it. Okay. Yeah. Right. Calm. Yeah. So that there's enough room. We've disconnected the electric clutch. Right. So we can get the new belt back over, over this Over there, okay. So have we got enough slack yet? Probably have to take the bike off. Right from the top. Piece, which holds this, stops this from turning. Okay. So that fits in a little groove, just there. Stops that from turning. So you remove that, and then the top guide, which is this piece here. The top guide, you can get the belt on without removing it. So the belt's in. The belt's on. All oh, right. Okay. So now we've just got to put everything back at the front the way it was. Put this back on. Oh, yeah. Put the uh, put this back on and and then work away to the back. Oh dear! I've, no, I would. I have got. I would not have had a clue um, at all. Yeah, well, in any shape or form. Um, it throws, it throws up things like removing. <laughs> see, removing that. Yeah. I've had to remove that because it's so close to this. <coughs> Piece, you yeah, want to get the yeah. bolt in, but that that gets stopped turning by this. Right, okay. Which is which goes through here. So we're going to put it back now. Find the place where it lives. Somewhere. Yeah. Just got a little, Just got a little notch. In yeah, it, yeah. Where it's going to go into? Yeah. Somewhere. You're sort of working upside down as well, isn't it? And that goes into that little knot. There. And then we get the screw back in it. And then we'll put all the Put all the pulleys back in place after we've got it down there. I'm, I'm, I'm going dizzy upside down here. <laughs> got this plate over. No, if, if that wasn't there, it, you're looking yeah, straight, you're at straight it. on it. And presumably it'll bolt off somehow, would not it? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's the fan. And then, as long as I'm under that fan, I can find the pulley, and that's it. So that's the front on and the back on. Now I've just got to pull the pulleys back in. 
Yeah, I'm not sure that's going to pick somebody up with a camera. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, well. Turn out the belt. Yeah, a couple of little tricks on getting the getting the front on, getting the pulleys on. Pulleys. Yeah. If you, if you get which way around the belt goes, the flat pulleys is the back of the belt. Okay. And the V pulleys is the front of the belt. So when you look under, flat but flat ones, it's running on the back of the belt. V ones, it's running on the front of the belt, and so you can work out which way it actually goes. If you if you if you make if you forget one, <laughs> then mark my words, I will forget. Yeah, so all I'm saying is, flat flat pulley, that's the back of the belt. Flat pulley, back of the belt. V pulley, front of the belt. So it will always go that way. It will never go that way. Okay. So, and I say, me, it comes round here and then onto this one. Yeah, yeah. It wouldn't, you, because you'd think, oh, I'll put it here and I'll run it round here, but it'll be wrong. So, <laughs> so I will confess. So when I, right, well, Mark's working away here. Sorry, I'm still working doing check-ins. Bloody hell! How, how quick, quick are you? Well, it just, just goes straight back on. Ah, so two clips on the back. Two clips on this side, this one, yeah, this one, one clip on the other side, this one, two clips on the front, now the belt goes to, a, this is your, uh, a guide pulley, uh -huh. then to get it on the front pulley, you just pull, you've got, you've got all this spring pressure there. Right, now I took this cover off here and used my foot. But well, you're just pulling it, aren't you? So you just pull it on like that. Oh my god, okay, right. That's it, that's it done. So anybody who's been watching a previous video, I've taken this guard off here, threaded it through, and I literally had my heel on there to push it. Pull the, yeah, the spring yeah. tensioner. Wow, wow. Ah. So, you're an absolute genius, you're a superstar. Right, well. Now at least he's got the big long straw on this, hasn't it? Yeah. Somewhere down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. right, so we would, oh, sorry, not we, I, so, like the Muppet that I am, so have that on the other side, thinking it was a lock and it's not, is it? No, that's your tension. Yeah, okay. And now it's right, right, right. Place. I mean, that should room on that. Yes, yeah, so there is a spring that's quite low on there, but yeah, okay, right, that all, and that just went straight on, didn't it? Yeah. That spring looks like, is that? So that's something to do with that that's, belt you've got, but yeah, that's... Yeah, but that spring doesn't look, is it supposed to look like that? Uh, well, I suppose it could do, but it... And it's very rubbing on the belt, but... Mm, it's close, isn't it? Yeah. Drops down, doesn't it? But that is where it goes, and that's the angle, so it, it misses all the belts and everything. And I can, we can put it on and uh, try it. Mated with cable ties. They're, they're the future. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Yeah. This is Paul, and he's been an absolute superstar. And I'm not well, just saying that. Well, but I've, I've enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, Sorting your problems. But it's not just that. As I say, saying to the viewers out there that. I could have gone the sent them away, but I won't learn anything if that makes any sense. Yeah. It's uh, it's the knowledge, well, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm glad I've shown you a few tricks. No, I'm just I'm just yeah. so happy that I've got your contact details and it's not like you 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 were here within a couple of hours. Me phoning as well. Yeah. Well, uh, today was an easy day. This is Lincolnshire. Are you Lincolnshire born <laughs> and bred? Or? I am. Well, yeah, born in Yorkshire. Yorkshire. But yeah. Spent most of my time in Lincolnshire. It's a beautiful part of the country. I've not ever explored down here until last year, and the people oh, right. are so friendly and just a wonderful place. Sure. And it never rains. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, thank you ever right. so much. Okay, final check in done for today. So I've got one off there, and basically, we've got two hard sandings. And apart from that, the site, hard sanding wise, um, yeah, full look at the difference on that now. Quick 360. And then in two weeks' time, um, the area where I'm in here now, I call it the island, um, 
and there's a grass pitch over here, one near the dog walk. All those are going to get taken down um, and full, uh, well, full. So if you want to come at Easter, you need to book for Easter 2024. All right, let's go and get this last one. Checked in on the computer system, close up my garage and I'm going to have for tea tonight. I might have burgers and chips in the air fryer. Nom, nom, nom. Right, I'm going to end this vlog here. I said I was going to tell you a Twitter story, which I will do, but not today. Um, yeah, I knew we were going to get a good productive couple of days in and what a gentleman that guy was fixing the mowers. Uh, all sorted. And isn't it so good to see the site so busy? Uh, Definitely the busiest weekend of the of the year, and as I say, there was only two hard standing pitches left, and we would have been uh, full. So if you ever do want to come, don't leave it too late. Uh, and then tomorrow, which is quite unusual for the nurseries, is quite a bit of a max exodus. So most people are leaving tomorrow. We go back to being quiet again. Right, I am starving. Need to get some food in the oven, and I need to get Russia out and give her a walk and uh, a bit of a leg stretch right thanks ever so much for watching if you are new here a new subscriber thank you ever 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 so much that's wonderful that, that you you're here if you stayed it's here to the end you know what i'm going to say and I'm, i am talking to uh, yeah you i am talking to you you always say to the end big thumbs up look after yourselves guys see you on the next one